Who knows wins league for this weekend? Coming. By the way, it's live already. Last week, I told you it's only a matter of time before I win. Cream have you come? Rises. Have you come? Have you come up trumps? Joint tenth. Have you won a little nugget? Uh, <laughs> won a chicken nugget. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Joint tenth. A oh, one result off joint second. So they were first on his own, and then I think there were about seven or eight who were joint second. Must be nine. Then it went to 10, so I would join 10, so... How much did you get? Uh, I can't remember, I've not checked, but I've got. I've definitely got a, uh, another week's play in it. Yeah. Thing is, I think you're the type as well, if you hit the crossbar, I think the next week... I might even... You might go the full trip. Yeah. yeah, I might, uh, and I might Let's actually have... Home. I might actually have two selections. You know, if I'm a bit unsure on a result a here and there. Yeah. You've got your eye in, haven't you? Yeah. It took you a while, yeah. but you've got your eye in. Yeah, this is what happened this last time. This is what happened last time, and I got 10 out of 10. And fuck me, was I rolling in it? Didn't buy us a drink though, did he? No, no fuck all. Tide Nothing. Fucker. Zip. Not a not a carrot. I've, I mean, the best I've done is about <laughs> forty quid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, yeah, I'm the same. Quid. Yeah, but the thing is that though, right? So you put your fiver in and you've got forty five quid back. So basically, you've got eight weeks. Oh, it keeps going. Nine weeks to go at it to win the big dog like mm. I did. But we've got our league this week. If you've not already got involved, download the Uno's Wins app on iTunes or Google Play. The link's in the description. You can click on it, get straight on our 10 fixtures. Just pick your who's going to win, draw, lose. Put your fiver in, and then we split the pot. Who goes win, draw, lose, by the way, when they're saying it? Surely it's win, lose, or draw. Mm. Who goes win, draw, lose? I never thought we'd be one of them types of channels as well. What, the old... Did you not? Nah. Sorry. When did we start doing that? I d- the first time I've done it. Well, yeah. don't let it happen again. It's not us, is it? The, uh, Shit. the links if you in click the subscribe button here, <laughs> underneath, smash that subscribe button. <laughs> while you're at it, eh? By the way, we've got a few of them bastards now. Them subscribers, yeah. haven't we? Well, we can always mm. do it a few more. We so if you've, n- if you've not, smash it, gentlemen. We all right? Very good. It's a long time since we've done a mid-season debrief. I feel like we could be doing a YouTube lockdown gig. Between us, yeah, we've all piano been, player, we've all been tested. Lead singer, yeah. What you tambourine, sound technician, <laughs> triangle, <laughs> <laughs> bing, <laughs> bing. <laughs> at the end, no, I, don't feel, I feel like Elton John sat here. I'll yeah. be honest with you. Well, we're just we're, we're hours away from the Manchester live show. Yep. With uh, Mark Patterson, back once again by popular demand. Patterson, he's apparently, well, he has sent us some more stuff, hasn't he? He's got plenty. He says he's got plenty more in the tank. So it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so am I. So am I. Fella, isn't he? I've, en- I've enjoyed these live shows. Yeah, they've been good, Very haven't they? Good. You've enjoyed them, haven't you? Yeah. You've enjoyed them more than what you thought. I you look were forward to them now. Yeah. I didn't it's think I would like. The livers. Struggling. When you get, when you get up in the morning, yeah. and you, the livers are. Ready for a in. detox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The worst state we've been in was after Halifax. Oh, dear, yeah. Half three in the morning. Oh, I don't know. I backed over it. There's a shock. Half three in the morning, John singing Red Light Spells Danger. In the, in in the, the Halifax Yates's. On mic or just... Oh, I'm on the stage. Yeah, yeah. the karaoke. Yeah, oh, I struggled wow. as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a good. tough one. It's a deceivingly it's not, it's, tough yeah. song to sing. I don't, I don't, yeah, I know. As I make, as it, I'll make a look. What are you going to say then? No, no, it's, <laughs> not, it's, not, it's, it's not an easy song to sing. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing it again. I'll be honest no, with you. Yeah. But, I mean, not, not to... So we got up the next day, I don't know, 11 o'clock. He's been to the gym, so he phones me, and this is how rough I work. He phones me, he says, you fancy a carvery? I went, not really, but I need to eat something. So he went to the carvery, so I've loaded the my plate up as, up. as per. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 had, I probably ate six mouthfuls, and I gave the rest to him. Bollocks. Did you see Let this? Meat. Eyewitness. Yeah. I've, I've finished his, <laughs> he finished his meat. <laughs> I had one eye on his plate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right there, John? For the, fir- for the first time ever. Fried eggs. Fried eggs. <laughs> for the first time ever, I gave my meat away. That's how bad I felt, right? So we got back about half one. So I had a couple of hours kip, got up, still feeling like death. And then just went up to get ready, get, just about to get in back. Bath were running, actually. And then I thought, oh, no, water jets. And at half four, when we started at half seven on the Friday night, I've got made over at pan. Oh, I didn't think you were a puker. Very, very. How many times? How many times you've seen me been sick? That, that's the first time. Yeah. Very, very, very rarely. So getting that, the berry, John. That's how it's fucking like bad. The rock and roll lifestyle's not for you. That's how bad I were, and I got to go and work. I got to go to work that night as well. 
And do it all again. It was because... Back Paddy, to the grindstone. Paddy got us on the shots, didn't he? Paddy Kenny. Well, I don't know if it was Paddy got him on it or you got him on yeah. it or what, but yeah, I think that was that was the problem. Well, there'll be six what? double vermouths lined up. Come on, come up past six. I still don't know what it is, what it tastes like or anything. Martini, a bit of, bit of research. Come ah, it's a fanny's drink. Yeah, but that's oh, we'll uh, soon find out. <laughs> 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 we'll see. Who, see who the fanny is at half past I six. Could be, I could be getting off the bed. <laughs> is, there, is there much more rock and roll than being sick at half four and then going out on stage at half seven? Oh, true. When was it? When I came back? I think I came back from the gym and you were asleep on the couch, <laughs> and I've just left you there. It was a Saturday morning. So, so that was after Bradford? It might have been. Is that the only one we've done on a Friday? Yeah. Yeah. Just come in and he was comatose on the couch. So I'm asleep on couch and I'm like, so I walk up, I'm like, phones him. Well, what's it, what do you want me to do with keys? He went, well, you just leave him. I'm, up, I'm upstairs. <laughs> and he's upstairs in feather. <laughs> I've gone back to bed. <laughs> I didn't have a fucking glue. It's been some rough old days, haven't they? Yeah, it's but We hope everybody's enjoyed him though. Uh, yeah. We've enjoyed them, haven't we? Getting out there and uh, seeing everybody. And uh, I, th I think the, the guests have enjoyed it. It's just had a bit of a sing and a dance afterwards. That's, th that's good Why fun. I it? enjoy it. It's good Get fun. Out singing and good fun. Good yeah. fun. It's been good. I mean, who, who doesn't like a sing song? Exactly. Ever. Yeah. No one. No one. Lines of the mood, doesn't it? Mm. But on the flip side of that, just not, not going off the live shows for a minute, we've had a bloody good couple of series again, haven't, they, haven't we? Well, that's what we thought we'd have a, a mid mid series debrief once once again because it, it's been a good series up to now. Mm. And we've not done this for a couple of series, so we can speak yeah, about a couple a of the old of, ones. Bit of a chat, like, well, well, I thought we could have a look at some of the um, some of the best stories from the Patreon episodes. And if that's what you think, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, because there's some hidden gems, isn't there? There's some proper hidden gems because we don't obviously we don't put them out there for everyone to, on to see, but we'll take some of, some of the nuggets and just give you a little taste. I think because Danny, Danny Graham came to the, the Middlesbrough show, didn't he? Yeah. And we're speaking to him about it, and he was like, oh, just wish everybody could have got could have heard it. But obviously, because mm -hmm. we put Danny episode, on Patreon, we do put the, the odd big hitter on there, don't we? Yeah. So we, we, want, we want everybody to get the value for money, don't we? Exactly. And, and it is fucking value for money, let's be right about it. But it's not an advert, this anyway, it's a podcast. No. No. But please do subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a couple more live shows coming up as well, so... Um, Liverpool still to go, Leicester, Coventry. So there's still time to get involved. Mm. And we're pushing. I mean, I speak too soon here. Nah. No? Christmas we're, do? We're pushing for a Christmas do. A big one. In the heart of Manchester, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I've, I've already spoke to Weeks. He's up for it. He's geared right up. Yeah. He's the, the engine's revving. <laughs> Count me in, fuck it. <coughs> I'll deal with the hangover the day after. So we're going to see, we're, gonna, we're trying to find a venue at minutes. Pantos and I have everything on. Nah, so I'm sure I'll, a dick we'll was sitting on that mind fucking budging the side yeah. for Saturday night, <laughs> yeah. really. Nah. Fuck you, dick. <laughs> 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 Madam Twink is out for the night. Eh? The, 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 the Palladium's not going to make much off fruit shoots, is there, for kids? They want to be selling ale. Mm. <laughs> no, but we have, we have had some good, some bloody good stories on uh, Patreon. Da Danny's one of my favourites. Yeah. The, um, Yankee Bravo, Yankee Bravo, oh, and man. Coil, all the Coil stuff because we've heard little nuggets of a Coil. Like, I mean, uh, li at, like, little. We've heard a lot of. No, him. but I mean, but I think Danny goes into more depth than anybody. He, he pulls the sheet back more than anyone. Yeah. Do you think you might use the word nuggets again in this podcast? That's tw I twice and use the word nuggets, and I don't think I've ever heard you say it before. Is What's that for your dinner? Nuggets, <laughs> <laughs> goujons. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was the one when he. Um, he was getting shit from the fans, getting beat 1-0. Yeah. Well, should, should we have a listen? Uh, yeah. Have a look for everyone who... Uh, Shall I watch it on my phone or...? Yeah, yeah. No, we'll get it on. We'll get it on screen now. I didn't play with Mulgrew, but he's meant to be Mul a good lad, isn't he? Mulgrew's brilliant, mate. Yeah, he's, he tells some absolute cracking stories. We, um, we had a young lad. Uh, we were in the gym. Uh, I think it was a Friday before a game and one of, these, one of the young lads, Jack Evans, has come in and he's like, lads, you know what um, this YB is on me uh, programme, like the gym programme. And Charlie, so he just pops his head up out of the hall where he's getting the massage and he went, you don't know what a YB is? So Charlie's like thinking in his head what he can say. He goes, it's a Yankee Bravo. He went, what, you don't know what a Yankee Bravo is? He went, mate, you're a professional footballer. Like dead straight face. Like, <laughs> you don't know what that, he went, Phew. Give me five minutes, I'll come and show you what it is. 
So he puts his head back down, mate. This young Jack stood in the gym just waiting. Charlie's getting a massage. He was like, just watch this, lads. I'm going to think of something to do here and call it the Yankee Bravo. <laughs> so, so, so you know what they've done to the blinds in the uh, thing you look to, don't you, into the gym? So next thing, Charlie's walking out and he's look, like, you can see him looking at all the equipment, thinking what he can get his hands on and what he can do. So he looks at the pull-up bar, hangs on the pull-up bar and he starts swinging backwards and forwards very quick and he goes, how many you got to do? 10, so you do nothing. You do 10 and you do it. I swear to God, it's a 10 two, Yankee Bravo. 10 Yankee Bravo. <laughs> and he gets up and he just struts off like with a big smile on his face thinking, he can't buy this, mate. He's like, oh, cheers, Skip. Cheers, Charlie. There, th thanks. So <laughs> he, walks, he walks back in, all of us. I sat on the thing, you're looking to the blinds. Right, next thing, this young lad starts swinging from the bar. <laughs> Oh my days, no way. Everyone, like, shut the door, everyone's crying. <laughs> Rolling around. I, I shit you not, right? It was about six weeks down the line. And we come in. I think it was a, I think we'd done a cool down outside. And young Jack, he, he was always injured, but he worked his nuts off. He was one of them young kids who, you know, he wouldn't miss any sort of set or any sort of rep. <laughs> We we strolled in the gym and there's Jack doing the Yankee Bravo, mate. <laughs> and we we just erupted and he went, you fucking cunts, that's not a Yankee Bravo. <laughs> we were like, oh, my days. Six weeks down the line. It was brilliant. He's been Yankee Bravo for six weeks. He's been Yankee Bravo for six weeks. <laughs> Surprised he didn't put his back out. <laughs> the Yankee Bravo. We've we looked it out since, I'm, sorry. We've looked it out since, the yoga ball. Well, that can, that can pro probably be the only thing. That it can be, can it? Yeah, yoga ball. Yoga ball. I mean, yeah. I, go on. I went to a uh, I went to a Forest Green game, right? And I've gone and seen one of the lads who I uh, who I used to play with, and he went, you "Never guess who's in there." I says, "Oh." He went, "Yankee Bravo." I went, "Fuck off!" <laughs> it's straight in. He opened the door. He shouted, "Yankee Bravo!" <clears throat> right. So this kid, this young lad, walks out. I said, "Are you Yankee Bravo?" He went, <clears throat> "Yeah." <laughs> he went, "What would you have done?" Like, he was still half backing himself up. Really? This is like, well, the captain's told me, like, it's serious. The captain's told me this is, a, this is the exercise that I need to do. Yeah. So I've just done what the captain's told me. I thought I'd just do it right. <laughs> I went, fucking get back in there. Have a good game, young'un. <laughs> thing is, it's naive, innit? But I, I get what he's saying, but just go to the physio. Ask yeah. him, just yeah. double check. Just double check. Yeah. It's the captain, though. The captain's telling him. Oh, yeah, this is can't go over his head once he's told you. Can you imagine... Like, it, same as Danny said, like, he could have actually fucking pulled his back out. Mm. <laughs> you know, imagine that. Thing is, we get a lot of people tagging us in CrossFit videos because a pull up in CrossFit is very similar to what. To a Yankee, Yankee Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You can half cheat with it. I'll get a good swing. <laughs> like people tag us all the time. <laughs> Just Yankee Bravo. <laughs> You've got three minutes. <laughs> 500 Yankee Bravo, go. But, you it's know, like, stuff crack like crack that, ball. that's like, that's like incredible football crack, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's the best football crack. You're yeah. all this shit and all that. You never, uh, stuff like that. Ever get done with anything like that? Uh, it's like the builder's stuff, in it? You know, like, tartan yeah. paint and. Yeah, long stand. Yeah, long stand, but bubble for, for spirit level. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I've ever got to do it. To be fair, I don't think I've ever I've ever really been in the gym enough to, to ever see what a YB is. Nah. Never sat on a yoga oh, I've sat on a yoga ball, but I've never done a, a session <laughs> on reading never racing boards. Never done a fucking yeah, I've never done a fucking <laughs> session on one. <laughs> well, on the Danny Graham Owen Coyle stuff as well is uh is it just it just we've furthers got, got for, to that one it just well. furthers for me. What a guy Owen Coyle is. Yeah, same. I, I just think, uh, no matter what he's done managerial-wise and all that, I just think he's a fucking right yeah. guy. Yeah. I'd love to have, sit down with him having a pint and yeah. just let him crack on. I think well, it, it's it, like Danny says in the in the clip, like, if you're winning, like they were doing at Burnley, yeah. best manager in the world. But if it's not quite going so well, maybe so not, maybe bit maybe more, not yeah. so much. Yeah. But that, the, the Rotherham crack, made it better after what we'd heard about him. Yeah, you know, we kind of already had a picture in our head what he'd be like. You know, like commentating on his own thingy, <laughs> commentating and on his own him, goals, him zinging a ball down the line when he's getting hammered from the fans. <laughs> Coyle, not, not bad for a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> it's just again, it's just that in it. Not bad for a wanker. <laughs> I can imagine he said, he said it so dry, <laughs> and like the lads are getting beaten, like heads in the jackets, trying not to piss themselves in case the, the cameras are on him or whatever. Yeah. Well, let's have a look, Danny Graham on. Owen Coyle at Blackburn. 
managed. Nice fella, him. like. He, yeah, he was, to be fair. He just wanted to be your mate. He'd, he'd call you in the office at nine o'clock, doing nine brew. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> we keep hearing it. It's You're like, yeah, yeah it's French. Four, four. And you're like, really? Nine o'clock? No, no, I don't, nine brew. And <laughs> you'd just have a chat and like, you'd just come out and you're thinking, that was nothing to do with football. It was just, <laughs> just <laughs> completely against what we're, we're doing here. And then you've got... <laughs> It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him in. I'm gonna get him in. Yeah. Right. See if he wants an iron. Is what? Iron brew. You got an iron brew. Did anybody no. ever have an iron brew? Because everybody, I, everybody who's talked about this fridge of iron brews never. I don't think anyone one. would admit to it. I don't think so. <laughs> well, yeah, he used to put like four or five sugars in his tea, right? So he would made a cup of tea and went to the toilet, not in the in the canteen where it's right next to the machine, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, we poured about fourteen sugars in, right? Thinking, nah, I see what he does with this, mate. He didn't even realize. He had about 14 sugars in his team. <laughs> Something it as though it was nothing. We were like, wow. No one he's having boot at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> he's like that and all, isn't he? Like no one. No. Not a not a thing. And you do shooting, mate, and he I think Marshy and people like that mentioned it, mate. He'd tee himself up and he you just shout, Kyle. And, <laughs> but his technique was unbelievable. <laughs> Unreal. And then he, he hit one one day and he went, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Made this half while he's crisp in the bomb car. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> oh my days. We've got a game. We haven't won yet. We've got a game tomorrow. And he's, he's playing well though. Oh mate, he's flying. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're doing crossing and finishing drills and he's crossing them and he's running off, mate. Like, say you put one right in your head and you scored. I'm breastfeeding you running off like this, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on yeah? We have literally <laughs> wearing this shit. <laughs> we're not wearing this shit and our managers run around like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh wow. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Two points out of nine. I'm <laughs> best video. Like I'm <laughs> going to his jumble. He's like, I've got win. <laughs> oh, honestly. <laughs> stuff like that. No, um, he would play, no, Welshy. He would play um, like head tennis with Welshy in the gym. Masseur. Mel de Masseur. So he's coming in on Friday. Lads are getting massage, uh, massage and stuff. And he's going, right, Welshy, come on. Come on, we're going to play head tennis. So you take the main Masseur. <laughs> out to go and play head tennis while the lads were getting rubs <laughs> get before games we were like oh, what? I'm, I'm massaging the lads here we've got a game tomorrow we? yeah, no, head like, tennis come on he's like no no come on you'd play pool with you you'd play t you'd play table tennis with you he'd, he'd be in the pool with you <laughs> it was just mental and then you'd just you'd go outside mate and it was just it literally was like a fun fact it was just five sides and stupid possessions and stupid noises and <laughs> noises <laughs> Mate, honestly by the end of it like by the end of it we were calling meetings um just amongst the lads saying listen we're gonna have to like do something about this because we can't carry on like this we're getting beat every week there's no team shape there's no organization or nothing and all he wants to do is fucking have volley a ball and, and be your best friend and you know come to a point where he did all right did he do all right but burn no. Yeah. Burn. yeah, he got them promoted, didn't he? Did he? He got them promoted in the playoff final, I think, yeah, one nil, yeah. and I think Probably his bonus like... was a, a million pound. And I, there was one day someone was talking to him, and you know, when you overhear it outside, they're like, "Oh, what was your speech afterwards?" And he pounded, he turned around to the lads and said, "Thanks a million." <laughs> <laughs> and I was just saying, I was just saying, <laughs> <laughs> he was mad. Like uh, he's a mad believer of just getting everyone together, and that's the way he managed the club. And, it, it, it didn't Obviously work. Obviously, worked us. at Burnley, but yeah, they had not at us. And yeah. the fact he'd already been at Burnley, oh, he was on, he was on the yeah. back foot straight away, and then two points from nine, he must have gotten some shit. Oh, there was Rotherham away. Um, he was getting absolute dogs abuse, uh, like wanker and everything. And the ball come to him, right? I'd just been taken off. The ball come on the touchline, and he's half volleyed it right crisp as out down the line for I'd say it was Craig Conway or someone taking the corner. He went, he turned around to us on the bench, right? We're getting beat. He's went, not bad for a wanker. Just give him a wanker, not bad for a wanker. <laughs> Casually turned around, mate, we're getting beat. I was thinking, oh, wow. <laughs> Incredible. We're going about good, good cop, bad cop. Yeah. I bet you he'd be an unbelievable good cop. Who's the nicest manager you've played with? Paul. Um. Probably Gary Warrior. Yeah. 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 Just a nice, I mean, probably didn't see eye to eye with him, but just a nice bloke. But still. You, you'd you'd want to do yeah. well for him. You invite him around for a barbecue? Nah. 
No, oh, greedy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He's a greedy bastard. He could fucking hate Gary. <laughs> John? Uh, nice. The nicest manager I've Yeah, just for. like you'd still like to invite round and have a chat. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Any of them? I Al, Alan Irvine. I know he had a, a, a turn in him. Yeah, but I don't know, but I won't say we're. Nice I won't say we're. Yeah, we're a nice man away from the training pitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'd, I'd sit and I'd, I'd invite Alan round for a barbecue. Are you hundred percent? I know you're going to say it. Well, I mean, there's probably two that you're going to say, but hundred percent wouldn't invite to barbecue. Um, Graham Wesley is one of mine. I know yeah, you, so you you, you'd probably have a top a five. Yeah, yeah. Brown. Got, Brown. There's a lot getting refused at door, isn't there, yeah. at John's barbecue? Because Wesley had come and he'd. If you were cooking, right, he'd come and tell you, no, you're not cooking it right. Right, what if Phil Brown turns up with a, a butcher's choice platter? Yeah, full platter, steaks, basket. Lamb chops, and a full work. And a Harrods, a Harrods hamper. He's almost licking Which his lips now. I'm, yeah. le I'm letting him in, and then as soon as it's on the barbecue, I'm kicking the fucker <laughs> out. Get them an Uber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Phil, your, your taxi's taxi just arrived. Your taxi's here, Phil. The, the meat's and not... The I'm not, the I'm meat. not a fucking taxi, you fucking have. <laughs> Go on, the meat's, off. The meat's not cooked enough for him to text some, because it's still too raw. <laughs> so just as I'm... <laughs> Phil, can you on your bike, mate, now, please? I've seen enough of you. The food stain. Your missus is stain, but you're fucking going. Yeah, <laughs> adios, amigos. Eh... <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've had some fucking shit as manager-wise. Do you think that maybe says more about you no. than the manager? It's a good, good question, Chris. No, no. I, I'll be, right, I'll be, I'll be truthful. If a manager's been all right with me, I've been all right with them. But there's none coming to this barbecue. i tell you what, I won't mind coming. Fergie, Darren Ferguson. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Darren Ferguson were I a like top Fergie. guy. Top yeah, guy. I like them. Uh, and we had a look, couple of little spats and that, but... But then it's the, the difference in it because how many a couple of lads we've had on who were were cast aside by Fergie and they'll absolutely mm. hate him. Uh, Fergie's one of them that if you like yeah. bomb squad. Y if you're in his circle, he, yeah. he's all right. Yeah. And even though I, I, I didn't do that well for him, he just seemed to like. seemed to like us. Yeah, more as a lad than a player, I think. Yeah, mm. don't think he hated us that like much. That. No, but yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a lot. Like that. <laughs> 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 you could tell a player Fergie like. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not invited. Not heard you because I've never heard you really. No, I'm a nice lad, Chris. Yeah, not mugged any off. Like no. and said I, I mean, awesome. Boyer, the, Boyer had his opinion on us, and I was fucked, wasn't I? But I wouldn't say. Would you invite Lambert? Yeah, I I, there's not many that I wouldn't. In fact, I don't think I can name any. Invite Mick, wouldn't you? Mick McCarthy. Yeah, Mick would be chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be handing him me the utensils, uh, Mick. <laughs> what you do, what so. you do is you just put a, bit, you put a chair at the front and let just Dean Saunders crack on. Yeah. Just yeah. entertain the guest. Yeah. What's that thing about you play? Keen, Roder. Keen could be head of security. He's on the door. He's fucking yeah. Phil Brown off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've had some fucking top like my, you know, and it's not it's not just me, I've had like Malky, obviously, there's a few Lords A team. Phil Brown, Lords think he's a prick. Steve Parkin, same. <laughs> Wesley, uh, there's, there's only that Steve and his team who's got a good word to say about him. We were, we were the Steve and his team we took from the conference yeah. and up and up and double, triple the money or whatever. Cause everybody else in football thinks he's an absolute fucking moron. You're a tough man to please, John. No, I'm not. All I want is honesty. Right. No, Malky, you don't like me. Fair enough. Let me get on my bike. Yeah. Don't cast me aside with kids. Don't fucking make my life hell. Just, you're not for me, John. Right, no problem, Malky. We'll come to some sort of agreement. I'll find a new club, move on to Pastures Green, and, and all the best. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I've got no problem at all with somebody thinking I'm shit. Not, none at all. You can enjoy sending your steak back, though. Saying yes for medium. That's well done, that, Malky. Yeah. What a shit. Just like old man in him. Yeah. Throw it in his face. Call yourself a chef. <laughs> Roy, get him out. <laughs> <laughs> on your bike, son. But uh, Darren Huckabee, another another brilliant episode on yeah. Patreon and some uh, some some bloody good stories. Yeah, but him with Hooks, what I mean, you said on the way down, didn't you? I this self confidence. Yeah, was like unbelievable, mm. wasn't it? And and I, and I don't think it were, I don't think it were An in, in any way arrogance. I think he was just really that self-confident about what yeah. he could do. and w When he were talking about it, I, I like could 
admire admire it. Yeah. Like, not yeah. in an arrogant uh, way that he he just believed that he was the best. And that I think that probably made him a better player because he believed it. Because yeah. how many players have you probably played with that have the ability but haven't got the self belief? Mm. Well, we spoke about it. It also helps, by the way. Sorry, Chris. It also helps, by the way, when you're fucking rapid. Yeah. It doesn't matter what league you're playing in. If you're rapid, you you can run past anybody, can't you? I love the the way you say rapid. (laughs) It's like eyes shut. Rapid. Rapid. He means it, doesn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever league you're in, if 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 you're fast, you can run past anyone, can't you? Yeah. If you're faster than the person you're playing against. Or even if you're at a similar level, there's going to be a couple of times a game where they're off balance or a yard out of of position and you just go, boom, and then... (laughs) You know, boom, you go hard. Boom. <laughs> so when you're not when you're not as quick as, as that, you, you've got to rely on other yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> but that game I speak about at Leeds at home, and it's almost like you can tell when Hooks is at it when he when he means business. As soon as he walks in, yeah, he, he couldn't sit still. He'd, he'd be up. He'd, he's up. Re- he's geared he, up. Ready. His eyes it. would just be glazed over as if to say, "I'm, fu- I'm on it today." He, yeah. And I don't even think he was talking to anybody in particular when he was saying it. Just give me the fucking ball today. Just give us the ball. So he knows that yeah. he's, he's, he's going to be on form today. In the tunnel. Give me the ball today, lads. And yeah. their lads must have been like, who the fuck's this? Yeah, who's this prick? <laughs> After five minutes, yeah. Hook could be 1-0. <laughs> yeah. But then he'd turn him in your eyes on. And they'd be like, <laughs> yeah. say to him, you're in for it yeah. today, lads. You are in for it you today. Just give the ball. They're going to give me the ball and you were fucked. It was almost like he was just entertaining himself because he beat him. You think, oh, Hook's, you're in. And then he'd slow down and like give him, let him get back but in. Let him get a whiff. And, and then, then he'd beat again. him again. And then chop and then... Like, come on then. And then he just go on and go and score. Brilliant. It's like FIFA, a game of FIFA. Yeah. Must but be nice to be that good, like, wouldn't it? You know, that good where you can, mm. like, mm. just do all that. You know yeah. what I mean? We've, we just got, we just fucking put his bodies about and that, and we're, we're all right with his feet and whatever, and scored a few goals, scored a couple of goals. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Cheat, cheat. But you know to be that good where you can just think, I'm going to fucking annihilate him today. Mm. I've never gone to a pitch thinking, I can annihilate you. Yeah. And there's not many players I've played with, and I think Hooks mentions it on the thing, that when somebody gets the ball, you can hear the, the, the seats. Did you, did you yeah, that. that. Pe- no, like people stood up. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Did you, did you, did you, yeah. You'd yeah. get the ball on the left wing and everybody would be like, Intake a breath, waiting for something yeah. to happen. <laughs> when we used to get the ball 18 yard out, everyone used to fucking duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Everybody behind the edges just go. <laughs> Heads in laps. Oh, like breast position. <laughs> fucking turbulence. <laughs> they used to, turn, used to turn the back so you didn't fucking hit him with Bovril and fire in their hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but two good stories from Ux. Because um, obviously he, he went to Newcastle from League Lincoln. 2. Bottom of league, bottom of league two to the top of the Premier League at the time, and the, all the big names there. And he, he, I think we asked him, did he go to any of them Tino parties, them Fastino Espera parties that we've heard about? It, you know, if I could speak Colombian, he'd be one. He'd be the one I guess I'd most yeah. really like to have on. I emailed him, you know. Fuck off! I swear to God, when uh, you know when we're doing the YouTube, <laughs> you, you, Google <laughs> Translate. Colombian. For some reason, I got all of his Tino Espera's email address. <laughs> I asked him what he was doing Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> That's God's on his <laughs> I don't know how I got it. Oh, did you gosh? <laughs> <laughs> I think as well, I went on to Google and like translated the paragraph into whatever language Colombian is. <laughs> is it Spanish or whatever? <laughs> whatever language Colombian is. <laughs> And it'll be all over the place, that as well. Must Copy and paste like, it into Gmail. I mean, I mean, I mean it said Robbie Williams, didn't it? <laughs> We've had Robbie Williams on. Yeah, we've Paul Chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> we've had Paul Singer of that famous song, Angels. <laughs> we've, had, we've had Paul Chuckle, we've had uh, Kirk, <laughs> we've had Kirkhoff Corra, <laughs> Lloydy, we've had David Lloyd, if you're into your cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Did you watch the 2005 Ashes Test by, the, by any chance, Tino? We had the captain of England on. Did he reply? Mm. No. I was busy, must have been busy. <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night's bridge night in, in Colombia. I hope he got it, though. I hope he opened his Gmail yeah. and thought... And did he coach? <laughs> I like that fucking uh, thing. His song with the sing. Under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. Oh. No, but there's, uh, we, there's two great stories from uh, Darren Huckabee. Tino's parties and Noel Whelan as well. 
not the first parties we've spoke about, is it? No. And Clark, you mentioned them, but... Do you have a butchers? Aye. Did you ever go to uh, any of Tino's parties? you have heard about. I did, yeah. I did go to one once with one of my mates. Uh, it didn't end up too well for my mate. <laughs> he uh, got on the, the rum and the cigars with Tino <laughs> and Tino's band. And then all of a sudden, uh, he, there's commotion outside. He's laying in the middle of the road, absolutely comatose. So, oh. so cars couldn't get past him. He was just like lying there, just completely zonked. Is, was he just one of your mates, like not, not in football? No, not in football. No, he just came down for the weekend. It was, I think it was the end of the season do so he just tagged onto it that's one of them though isn't it like if you, yeah. if you go and see your mate the place for Newcastle and then you know, Tino's asked us if we want to go back for a pack we are going to Tino yeah, we're yeah. not missing this we're not yeah. missing it. and then yeah. you're going to make the most of it I'd have, I'd have had a wank at Tino's house as well <laughs> <laughs> it was only rented that would be fine it was only rented <laughs> He's, did he just get excited? Yeah, he was with, with a band on the, the bongos and so we got, we got him inside I could just remember Tino stroking his head his name was Tosh he's a You'll be okay, son. But obviously, in wherever he was stroking his head, you've had a good night. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've been comforted by Tino, that's brilliant. You're yeah. all right, bigger. Don't worry about it. Can you imagine opening your eyes just looking up and Tino's got your head? It was his lap. Yeah, but he's died down on that story for years. Even though we've been out many times after that, but <laughs> Tino's ass. The party at Tino's. <laughs> Didn't uh, Norway move in with him? Was Strachan. Yeah, yeah. He's got some good Norwegian stories. You've got to get him on this pod. <laughs> I actually saw him knock his dad out in the players' round once. <laughs> <laughs> God's honest truth. I wasn't expecting that. No. <laughs> just saw a commotion and I saw Snowy's dad on the floor. Snowy laid him out. Did he what criticize did he his I, performance? I don't know. He probably, probably said something. You should, should have scored there, son. <laughs> Boom, have that one, father. Yeah, but... There's also one, I'm sitting in the, in the treatment room, just getting ready because I can remember I used to have my ankles strapped every day. Snowy comes in on it, Snowy, no wheeling, comes in on a pair of crutches with just a big kind of bandage around his bottom of his foot. He goes, go and get a physio, don't tell the manager, lock the door. So he's sitting on the bed, I go and get a physio, come back in, lock the door. He's basically put his foot through a window the night before and he's severed his Achilles and he's some just random Joey in the hospital who's just stitched it back up. So he's like, severed his Achilles and he's just stitched it back up. The geezer stitched it back up. Not, not, obviously not like a, a top-class surgeon. It's just some random geezer in the hospital. <laughs> he's he, he goes to the physio, he goes, just strap me up. I go out and then it will just go and I'll make out that, you know, it happened in training. I go, Snowy, mate, you got blood pissing out of the bottom. Bo- Back of Achilles. What? So what he done? He kicked his kicked the window, and obviously the pain was going. On, so he dragged it back out and severed his Achilles. So that that's not, and by the way, and that's not when Strack took him round his ass, took him in. That was after he he got in a fight in Nottingham, and someone smashed him, and then he ended up picking him up in the hospital, and then took him and actually moved him in with him. Strack did for I think it was about three months. Just enough, enough's enough. You well, I just got to try and save him from himself because yeah. it's, it was a great lad. Noel was a, a great lad, do anything for anybody, but liked beer. And, he, and he's probably the one player of all the players I've ever played with who, who didn't go on to do what he should have done. He was such a good player. Big, strong, athletic, good with both feet, good in the air, great engine, quick enough. Just a bit of a loose cannon. I've told him this to his face, so it's not like I'm saying it behind his back. I've said it to him many times. But he's, he's the one where I thought, you have so much ability. Yeah. That's outrageous, isn't it? <laughs> and that's not, obviously, that's not even why uh, the manager took him in. He had a curfew. He had a curfew. He had to be in at a certain time. He, he told them, Gordon, uh, is it all right if I go to the cinema with Paul Telfer? And he goes, no, no problem at all. Off you go, you know, make sure you're back at a certain time. So Strack said, oh, last minute, let's just go to the cinema and watch a film. So he gets to the cinema, sitting down, two, two rows in front, there's Noel with this blonde bird. So Strack goes down to him, taps him on the shoulder, and said, oh, uh, Telf's uh, got a nice blonde ear on it. Like that. <laughs> it was actually, at the time, Magnus Henman's bird. Oh, no. A goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> They're not together now, so it don't really matter. Does it? 
at least go to a different cinema. You know what I mean? <laughs> couldn't have gone anywhere, couldn't have just at least gone back row. Well, yeah. yeah. But great lad, do out for anybody. He'll even take your wife out. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're busy that night, he'll, he'll take you out for a drink. <laughs> Sit in the room. She was nice as well. She, she was, he was yeah. a good looking lad as well, Headman. Yeah, I think she was a Swedish model or something, I don't know. So. Well done, well done, Noel. Good effort. <laughs> no wheeling. You, have you, you must have played with Who's the biggest liability you've played with? Oh, I think that's a bit harsh on Noel, that, isn't it? Who's the biggest well, liability? No, but you what, know, wait, one Keith, of them just Keith like, Tracy. oh my God. Keith. Keith Tracy's up there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, never, you never knew what you were getting with Keith. No. On a, on a day-to-day basis. Like you weren't surprised if you, if you didn't see him on a morning. Right. Yeah. At quarter past ten. Night when out. When you've got to be in for half nine. Night out, really. Keith was one of them that wouldn't really come out with the lads. Yeah. He just... I tell, you what, I tell you what he is, he's a bit Gary Roberts. Right, it just got to a witherspoons on an afternoon yeah. on his own, yeah, uh, and and just being there t- and then being yeah, on his own till might not because he was again. Not, it might say more about you, not because he was not because <laughs> he were unsocial, <laughs> not, but, but it, it, like, I, I think he'd be sat in his house after training at one o'clock, whatever, and he'd just think, I'm bored. I'm gonna go to the pub, and they'd go and sit in the witherspoons with Ted and Nigel, and it just sit there, and he'd be there until he gets kicked out at twelve mm, o'clock, yeah. and he was one of them players that. Coming into training was an option for him. You know, like, if it was me and you as well, probably. Yeah. I never, I if we go somewhere, it's oh, fuck, training. Got training it's yeah. like non negotiable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got to get back. Gotta, no matter what, got to no be ma- up. Yeah. No matter where you are, what state you're gotta in. Got to be at work in morning. You've got to be at work, right? Even if you're a f- shower of shit when you get there, yeah. you've got to be there. Yeah. It, it just get up on the morning and think, oh, I'm fucking, I'm rough. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm not going. I think, he, I think his mind's made up. As he's on the way to wherever he's going. Yeah, I'm and not like going he's in. Ta- he's taking the option of not going in on the way. I'm like, oh, I'm not going in. <laughs> That's in every walk of life, isn't it? Like, there's people who work in H and M who who just, Could just go it, away fuck that. I'm not going. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Yeah. Pulling a sickie. Mm-hmm. But, but, but there's a ch- there's a chance that if you when you play football you do that. If you have the wrong day off, there's a good chance you might not be playing on the Saturday because of it. Mm. Like but I mean that's. Taking taking uh, another player's missus to the cinema. <laughs> that's, that's, different, that, yeah. that's different level <laughs> stuff, that, innit? Yeah. Have yeah. a fake an injury? Well, to be fair, I don't think he faked, did he? I think he, he Oh, no, he got injured, did he? He got injured he on a night out and then uh, obviously proceeded to pretend that he yeah. got injured Tell in the training. Yeah, the few Yeah. I'm, I've, never, I've never faked an injury. Uh, I've obviously faked the car crash. <laughs> uh, but... I think it's hard. It's it's one of the worst ones to accuse somebody of faking an injury. Cause it's like it's a it's a slight on the personality, isn't it? So dig at the personality. Mm, you like, but you basically call him a liar. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And and the, and the lads were when I faked me, me car accident, they were calling me a liar. But <laughs> and we're absolutely right. I was that adamant that it was the truth that I got away with it. But on that the injury one, I, and I, and the same thing. I don't know if he faked it. We had a diff- when I were at Barnes, so I don't, I'm only young. We, we signed somebody called uh, Peter Markstead, right? And he was a beautiful, beautiful looking human being. Was he? I think he was some, some Scandinavian, right? Fucking oh, drop dead gorgeous. Are, they always are good looking, good looking lads. Drop dead yeah. gorgeous, he were, right? But it didn't, we weren't really that bothered about playing, I don't think. So he's got a thigh injury, right? So he's just about to come back to training. He's about a week off. So he's done all his rehab and that, right? And then he's hobbled into training one morning to see the physio in his, in his I don't know if it was Iceland or whatever he were, in his accent, and he's gone, uh, oh, no good, no good. So he's like, why, what's happened? And, and he, he went on to tell the story that he was in bed last night dreaming of scoring the winning goal in the <laughs> FA Cup final. <laughs> and he's shot, right? And he said, he's just felt his thigh go again under the quilts. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gone. <laughs> I've had this shot in the FA Cup final. The quilts must have been heavy, and I've pulled my thigh again. <laughs> I'm out for another six weeks. <laughs> what, Jesus. he diagnosed himself out for six weeks? Well, yeah, it's, it's, I've pulled my I've thigh done again. again. I've done it again. And had he done it again? Did he do a scanner? Well, he, he, he didn't train for another six weeks, so fuck no, oh, what he did. Paul the old dream. But that's what that, what, that was his, his re- I was dreaming of scoring the winning goal in the FA Cup final, and uh, and I've, I'm, I've woke up and I pulled my thigh again. Is he good enough to score a winning goal in the FA Cup final? No. That's irrelevant, Chris. Yeah. But we all have dreams, don't we? Exactly. 
Yeah, you'd, you'd be just happy to work, score in the Orich Orich local <laughs> FA semi final, wouldn't you? I remember once under Lambert, it was a. Th- That's John's phone, by the way. That should be. That should be. It should be on Saturday. Yeah, it should <laughs> be John. Put the, who is it? Go on. <laughs> um, th- we trained Thursday and we had a game two days previous, and I think I came on and done all right. So in the training on the Thursday, I'm thinking if I do if I do all right and stay fit, I've got a chance to start. And I think we got beat, but. Anyway, I dislocated my finger in this session to the point where it was bad and I think one of the other players just came and put it back in. Yeah. But my knee was absolutely killing us. Like I couldn't I couldn't move. But I thought, if I go in now and say that my knee's knackered, I'm not gonna play Saturday. And I kinda knew that I could get in the treatment room and get my knee sorted. So I went down the route of um, almost concussion with me the finger, like <laughs> shock. <laughs> I've said, ah, gaffer me. I feel dizzy. I, I can't see straight, and you know, I, I think I'm in a bit of shock. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go and see the, see the doc. I mean, finger by this point was fine. Yeah. But <laughs> Just a bit sore. So I've gone in. As I'm walking, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to carry this on. Me, like my me finger's fine, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I've committed. I'm gonna have to go all the way. <laughs> what, did you, what did you walk in and fall over his desk? <laughs> I've walked in, and he went, "Just lie, just lie down." I said, "Doc, I'm, I feel sick. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm dizzy." He's put us in a neck brace. <laughs> I thought you were going to say recovery. <laughs> neck brace and flipping um, gas and air. Right? God's honest truth. What's wrong gas with you? And, nothing wrong with it. My knee, knee's sore. <laughs> my finger's all right. I've got gas and air, right? <laughs> but by the, un, unbeknownst to me, Lambert's outside, obviously thinking, my six foot four target man has just gone in with a... Bully finger. Bully f- yeah. <laughs> so he's half saying to the lads, like, can he... It was when he just just turned up. He was like, "Can he can he take a joke and whatever? Can you know if I go in and batter him? Can he?" Can he t-? And the lads are like, "Yeah." So the whole squad have come in. Lambert first. And the whole <laughs> lads. Oh, what, what, you're in the net brace. I'm laid on the couch. <laughs> Could you bring your finger? Gas in there. Yeah, like <laughs> fingers strapped up. <laughs> He's come. I can't fucking catch me breath. <laughs> I'm laid there. <laughs> Have I never heard this story I don't know, before? I feel like I've spoken. Have I not spoken about that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he absolutely annihilated us. Fucking rightly nice so and all. <laughs> what are you thinking when the doctor's putting your neck brace on? <laughs> too much. I don't know why I even brought my neck into it. I, like, I, I think I, I got shoulder barge. I mean, my neck. I, I think I just threw it in as yeah, a bit of a <laughs> bit of VAT. See, like, like, oh, my neck's, neck's gone as well. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I've done my finger and my neck's a bit. <laughs> Gas and air, and I see. I saw him walk in. And I can't fucking believe. And obviously, when I when he first walked, in, I thought, I fucked it here. So what? But what were your reaction like? It was, it was bad. <laughs> it just pressed them off. Like, ben again. I was like, honestly, I, I just couldn't see. I was dizzy, and <laughs> my knee was still fucked the next day. And I, I, I didn't play on the Saturday, so. <laughs> You can't be, can you, when, you've, when you've had such a traumatic experience on Thursday. That was probably got to the point where he thought he's, he's concussed. <laughs> we we'll probably best leave him out on Saturday. Yeah. For good of his health. It was that much of a good lie. That's I end up fucking myself. That's, that's, that's the best story you ever told. That yeah. Good. I can't, I've never heard that. Method, method acting that. Did you gas in there? Did you uh, did you tell the lads at any point? I think I told Corey Evans on the way on the way home. I didn't tell the rest of the lads, but so they think I'm a soft gun as well. <laughs> Jesus, I just remember that. What's the quickest way I can get out of this session? Yeah. Blame the finger. <laughs> but why, why, like why would your finger be, why would you get blurred? I, I, I don't know, I panicked. <laughs> 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 I panicked. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do was say my knee was sore because that would, that would 100% not, not play. Definitely not play. Yeah, so but going with the neck. If, if you can't train Thursday, the you're fucked. Yeah. You've got, you got to go down the concussion route. Mm. Shock. Yeah. <laughs> Whiplash. <laughs> I'm sat there. Shock. PTS, PTSD <laughs> in my hotel. <laughs> Jesus. No, I don't think I've, I've never... Uh, you never feigned, feigned an injury? I've, I've, feigned, I've, I've, I've once said that my back's gone when I was trying to get a move to the manager and said, look, you're better off selling me because I'm not playing again this year because my back's fucked. Where is it? Macclesfield. And I was literally sat in his office when I pro- proclaimed that my back had gone. Is that Nobby? Yeah. Brian so, Orton. So basically, it's pulled Did me Did you in. play it like a, like a, that he knew that you were bullshit? Oh, he knew. Oh, what? Yeah. It, it You've just a, gone, do you know what? I've uh, done a thousand uh, games. My back's gone. Yeah, literally sat in it. He pulled me into the office. He says, John, uh, 
we've had a bid from Hull for you. I says, oh, fantastic. He says, no, not, we're not selling you. He says, what do you mean you're not selling me? I says, I'm, I'm like, want to go. It's champion, two leagues higher and all that. I've done well for you and whatever. You're getting good money for us. He says, we're not selling you. We're not selling you. I says, well, I'll tell you what, man. Oh, fucking hell, my back's gone. Literally, as I'm sat there, so my back's gone. He went, fuck off. Was it bad chairs like that? I says, I'm telling you, my back's gone. I'm, I'm not going to play Saturday. I says, I don't think I'm going to play for the rest of the season, to be honest. Oh, next year, because I've still got another year on my contract. Yeah, so you're better off fucking selling us, because I'm not playing. I'm only about 23, maybe. Like, what a cocky little shit, but yeah. it worked. That takes some balls, like 23, I suppose, to, I say balls, but some... You can understand that, though, can't yeah. you? Yeah. See, do you know when I, you know when I, when I say, I, I, like, if I do whatever I need to do to make a move happen, that, that was the, 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 the main one way I've had to do it. I say, I'm playing in League Two, right? And, and I've got a chance to go to the Championship. I, I'm doing whatever I fucking can. I mean, when you, when you listen to the Marlon Airwood one, I, I would genuinely do what I said with, with Daniel Levy if I were Harry Kane. F- fuck it. Excrement on the boardroom table. Well, yeah. I mean, there's levels, isn't there? <laughs> but, but you've got to do what you've got to do, haven't you? If, I know, if that move not had happened, right? And then I, and I get injured two weeks later, and that, I might not. I might have been in league two all my career. Mm. I mean, uh, it, it, I found my way fucking back there quite sharpish. But <laughs> you know what I mean? I, after sort of eight nine years, but it, you've got to do what you've got to do, mm. and and, I, and, I, and I'll stand by it. And anybody who thinks different and all this, um, be true. Like what's the what's the word? Uh, loyal to clubs and all that. Fuck off. Clubs aren't loyal to you. We'll talk about that. The management mistreatment should we say or just being put out by managers we had John Mackham on Mackham yes John Mackham we'll go Mackham eh? we'll go Mackham eh? we'll get, get it real right. name yeah Mackham Jim Mackham <laughs> we had Jim Mackham on same thing isn't it is it Chris Brown or no. Chris Brown no John Mackham Chris Brown or Chris Brown John Mackham <laughs> no? still had him <laughs> <laughs> he's still an N John Mackham <laughs> That changed. <laughs> did it? Did it? Did it? <laughs> that, that, that changed John dramatically. <laughs> Mackham, Mackham. Anyway, we had yeah. John Mackham. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, we've heard a lot about Stuart Pearce, and um, we talked about the David James situation. Well, which was like, m- mainly s- surrounding him as well, really, weren't it? Mm. But it's like, the like he says about, I mean, it is, it's on all them Bloopers. funniest football blooper moments, moments and he's, he's in the centre of it without really. His fault, without it being his fault, he's just there on the bench and he's he's the central role. It's not the even main like, protagonist. It's not even on top fifty sporting moments. It's like world comedy moment. Mm. Like ever, ever to feature on TV. Not even, not not even turn top up at number fo- four. Not even top fifty football moments. <laughs> yeah. It's on world sport worldwide. Moment. Worldwide <laughs> most embarrassing yeah. sporting moments. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, it, it, it basically it's exactly the same as whoever's in the nets that day getting injured and him saying, John. We've got you a goalkeeper shirt, so I said, fuck that David James off. Go and play it nets. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty much just, it's the same way. Like David exactly James being on bench. And David James on the bench and saying, John, John you go and get your goalkeeper stuff on, get your son decos on. You're playing it nets instead of David James. Big old crap, wasn't it, last game of the season? Playing for a place in Europe. Should have a look at John's take on it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is painful for him, wasn't it? Yeah. I've got to ask because ev- everyone seems to have asked about that day. Yeah. Like tip of the iceberg, it seems. Yeah, it will. Listen, at the end, it it's, it, it, it affects you. You know, it, not now, but it affected me at the time. I say because when someone humiliates you, so so to speak, you know, in front of a crowd, and and as a striker, you, I was always I was I had, I'd always scored important goals at important times. I, I felt I did anyway. So you always believe in yourself, don't you? you? Always believe that next, like that next goal, you know. And I knew about it. I knew, I knew about it the, the, the day, the day when we turned up to the game. This is how much, you know, what he said previously was a lie. You know, I knew about it when I turned up because obviously people was talking. So I knew he was going to do it, but I knew he was going to do it for his own selfish reasons rather than for the, for the benefit of the football team and the football club. You so know? I'm assuming the kit man said, "Yeah, listen, I've got." Well, yeah, it gone through. Shirt. I think it went through the kit man for somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. And you've seen the printed shirt. Yeah. shirt yeah. You know what I mean? So you go into yourself, he's going to fucking do this. He's going to do this to, to try and 
lift himself as this fucking wonderful magician and look at what I've done. But so, you know, I think he went on, like I say, talk sport, and I think he said that, you know, he uh, he rung his uh, assistant manager up uh, the morning of the game and said he was thinking about doing this. Steve Wiggly, I think he said he was called. I never worked with fucking Steve Wiggly. He wasn't even there when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you, so you <laughs> go, even minute with him. So you, you know, so you're going, what the fuck? And, and then you're thinking, well. So anyway, I knew he was going to do it, and when it was, when he when he did it, I think he's got a responsibility. As a manager, you've got a responsibility, aren't you, to your players, to your to your staff, to the fans, to the football club, and I think he let himself down there with that responsibility because he made himself, I think, and you know, the club a bit of a laughing stock. Yeah, it was a it? farce, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it's turned out to be a fucking farce, and I think he said, you know, he said on there, if it was, uh, if it would have worked, I would have looked like Mourinho. Well, fucking hell, mate! I've not seen Mourinho <laughs> do it many times in his fucking career. Have you? Yeah. And unfortunately, you look, you looked a fucking dickhead, you know. And and, and you know, at the time, I think I've, I think I said to him, I think you're a fucking prick. You, you know, you've just humiliated me there. Did you say that in the dressing Yeah, room? I said it after the game. Yeah, I said it after the game, and then I just walked out and. <coughs> More or less, the last time I ever spoke to him. Did you did you walk off the bench? You know when he, when his numbers gone I up. I, I, I can't. I don't think I did walk off the bench. I've got to be honest. You know, it's still a bit blurry. I've tried to block it fucking out. <laughs> no, but uh... just for some context, we're obviously talking about David James coming on yeah. front and you were still on bench. And it, I mean, it was to get into Europe. It was well, to get into Europe. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You've got a responsibility as a manager. You've got a responsibility. To everything, to the football club, to the fans, to to yourself, to your staff, to the players, to really, really make the best of what you've fucking got, and and like I say, a responsibility that you're going to do, you're going to do everything not to humiliate that club mm. or put that club at jeopardy and make them look stupid. That's why they say, that's why they say respect the badge. Mm. And doing something like that, listen, come on. I mean, it's like getting sub sub is quite bad. Yeah. But that's like next level stuff, isn't it's, it? It's, 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 it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's, it's just a, like I say, it's ridiculous. It's on fucking count, comedy channels, isn't it? The 50 funniest fucking things in football or something <laughs> stupid like that. And, you know, but I'm part of it. Mm. So you've got, you know, you got to face it and you've got to answer yeah. it. And I've never really spoke much about it up, other than to, you know, friends and, you know, people who's asked me about it. I've never, you know, come on something like this and spoke about it. But, it, you know, at the time it fucking hurt. Yeah. And it, but the worrying thing is, he hasn't thought about you at all, about how it's going to make you feel. And I think that highlights what I said before, doesn't it? He, he never thought about anything. He just had a focus in his mind, what he wanted, what was best for him. And that, listen, you get fans now, Man City fans saying, he was fucking stupid. It was a, that was the worst thing ever. But at the end of the day, he did it. And he made that choice. And he's got to live with that now. He can laugh it off like he did on whatever fucking talks about whatever it was you can laugh it off and say it was this and that and you know, I'll have a laugh and a joke about it but at the end of the day where's the thought of all them fans that, that he humiliated that day that thought you're a fucking idiot where's the thought of the club where's the thought of me on the bench yeah. I imagine it were like when you're seeing it lad, like whispers must have just gone around the ground going yeah, but he's, he's coming up front <laughs> he's coming up front no <laughs> way when you were from the kit man you just like are you, are you taking the fucking pit? are you taking the piss it, it, do you know what I was? But I kind of, I kind of knew that he was going to do it because, once again, all about him at the time and what he thought and how he was focused. But for me, it was poor. It was, it was poor on every single level. It was poor to even think about it. I don't even know why you'd think about it because fucking Jamo, he, he couldn't kick a ball fucking straight apart from, well, you know, shooting practice and stuff like that. Yeah, he was a good kicker because all keep goalkeepers are, aren't they? He was shocked. But to fucking me. go up front and do something different, it's a, it's a whole different ball game, isn't yeah. it? It looked like it looked like one of them uh, fucking thingy games. You know what? Beckham has the Rangers with like, celebrities. It looked like, yeah. a, a, <laughs> so, it it like, like a testimonial. Yeah, it like soccer aid, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and uh, that's what I'm saying about, you know, you've got responsibility to football club and that's what made the yeah. football club a bit of a laughing stock. Mm -hmm. kind of and, the, and the opposition, by the way. Imagine if you're the opposition manager thinking, what's this fucker doing here? <laughs> yeah. you, 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 we've, not, you, we've not planned for this on the set blaze, are we? Yeah. We're going to pick James you up. You would, wouldn't you? You'd think, what the fuck is he doing? I think if somebody came to me on the morning and told us that it could be going in goal, I'd still be thinking... But obviously, I'll be on first. It's like a last chance yeah. saloon. If we get every striker on, and if we're still struggling, throw Jamo on. I would never think he's going to come on before me. Well, I think that's that's where I come back to. You know, and like he said, he was out of form. Well, every striker can be out of form, and it's that next moment, that next goal, that lifts you to being in fucking form. 
That's what you've got to think about. And that's what oh, I don't man. think he did. And I, I never think he will think about things like that because he's, you know, he's focused on what he wants and what's best for him. How, how was it after the game in the changing room? Was he just... Were you not, I bet he couldn't look you in the eye. No, that's when obviously I told him he was a prick and you know, I think he was, uh, he was kind of humiliated and, and kind of walked out. But I think a few other lads said a few little things to him and stuff. But you know, you'd have to ask them what they said because, like I say, I walked out. But He's got to be expecting that though, isn't he? I think he said sorry, actually. As I was walking out, I think he said sorry. Oh, if I was like, right. uh, Well, exactly, yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now you, I feel much, I'm yeah. a great <laughs> someone asked you what Now you're feeling a fucking prick, you're going to say sorry. But, uh, like I said, you know, I think he said, oh, sorry, John, I just wanted to do this. It's, you know, but he'll probably say, blase, no, I didn't. I was big and, uh, you know, just brushed it off. But fucking so be it. Here's what it is, isn't it? Would you been storming straight out, furious? Yeah. If I'm John. If you're John. Oh, 100%. 100%. It's just an embarrassing. That's like bordering on sticking, sticking one on him. Stuart? I think it goes beyond. I think, I think you, you want, want to. I think yeah, I think, I think you, you want to, but I think you're thinking, well, I'm, I, I, there's a good chance I could get the old tic tac if I do that. But I just want to disappear, you, you, don't want you? You don't want to speak to anybody. Because mm. the, the, obviously you walk in the changing room with the other lads yeah. and they know what's gone on. And you're just laughing stock. Mm. And you're a laughing stock amongst the fans. You're a laughing stock amongst the players. Mm. And I, I, I genuinely, if you look at his career, kind of takes a bit of a dip after after that period. You can see, it, is, yeah. he, is he was talking about it? He, yeah. he was still, it still haunted him. I yeah, genuinely, I think it most people. Yeah, I genuinely hope that Pierce never thought. I, I hope he done it and didn't think of the implications as, as or if. He thought of the implications and just thought, fuck it anyway. Mm. I think he thought, David James, he, 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 he was having a dream. He had a dream now before he was scoring FA Cup. He thought David James was going to go on, score an header, get him in Europe. He would, he'd be the Messiah. Yeah. yeah. And the Talked only thing about I can for even, years. The only thing I can, it's anything like that, and it's nothing as bad as what, what he did, was at Norwich under Roda. We played Crystal Palace away and we were 2-0 down with 15 minutes to go. And he'd only made one sub. And it was one of them, you know, when the manager gets the, gets the assistant over and they're like talking about what they're going to do next. He's trying to look round at the bench. I thought, surely, man. I was, yeah. only, I was only striker on the bench. 2 0 down, 50 minutes to go. I thought, surely. I'm putting a right mean? back on mine. <laughs> 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 he was sat there, hit net brace on, got to know. Shot that he was coming on. We can't put him on. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a blanket around him with straps. <laughs> And I thought, I've got to be going on. And then whistle goes, still sat there. Two, got, took a 2-0 defeat. Rather than bring you on? Yeah. And that is nowhere near the, the amount of humiliation is what, he, what yeah. happened to him. The spotlight. But it, at the time, it felt. Yeah. Because obviously all the other players are like, why didn't you come on? Yeah. And that's true in your head for, like, when you went that night, that week, that... No, nah, not really. No. See, do you know, like, I, don't, I, can't remember, I can't I don't know if you remember or not, did you do any running after that game? I can't remember. See, you know, like, if then the fitness coach comes and says, you need to do some running, I'd have been like, fuck off. Yeah. We could fu fuck off. Yeah. So well, it's not to do with you, mate, but fuck off. I'm not doing no running now. I'm getting my, getting in my, I'm getting in my, my bath. Gear. I'm getting my bath, getting my gear, and I'm and getting my dominoes and going home. He's obviously turned around, look, who can make a difference? Nah. Well, <laughs> well, it's like, no the, one one in, on it's like the one in the uh, in the European Cup final with Cluffy, isn't it? So, I think they only had one, two subs then, and they were going to use a sub, and somebody got injured, and he said to his uh, his assistant, "What they call him? What were Cluffy's assistant called?" We went up to Scotland with. Oh, I can't God, remember. I can't remember. And, he, and I think it was Millsy. Gary Mills told me this, and he went, and there were two on the bench. Or one on the bench. And he went, who have we got to put on? And he said, so-and-so. And he went, Cluffy. Oh, well, we're fucked then, aren't we? <laughs> then he, with an earshot. He heard it, yeah. And he turned around and he went, get your stuff on, you have to go on. <laughs> the European Cup final. <laughs> Fucking, I'm, I'm sure we're missing it, man. I think well, we should finish on a high. Finish on a high. Andy Keo. Yeah. He's another one. That I wish, you know, you talk to Jimmy Walker, Joe Thompson, a lot of lads who we did on Zoom. Yeah. Keo's another one where you wish 
he was sat the other side yeah, of the table, yeah, wasn't he? Was br- Fucking brilliant, man. Australia now, and we did it over Zoom. But yeah, he was brilliant, and it helped after that. That second bottle was halfway down. Second mm. bottle of wine, he was he were well uh, oiled, wasn't he? But. Um, <laughs> Got, do you know what the best thing about it? How close he was to his computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> you just got so into, into it. Yeah, actually it. felt as though we were in the room. <laughs> actually felt as though we were in my front room. Well, we've heard a lot of stories about uh, the island tales, going away with Ireland, and uh, his, his story on Trapatoni, getting, getting a bit irate with, mm. the, with the Irish. The Irish knees up when the guitar were out. Before we go on to that one, I don't know if you're going in this, but what about the... Uh, what, what was it? They say Boothroyd said it'd be able to be a. Uh, faster than a shark at swimming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because I, I remember thinking, because he said him and Gary Breen were tight. And I, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine Breen being mates with him. Just, I don't know, Brother Rod, but just from what you were saying and what a lot of people have said about him. Just different, different completely different, different unlikely duo. Did you not say it'd be faster in a canoe than a fucking great white? Was, I don't think it was a shark. Or he'd, he'd beat a no, shark. Definitely a shark. In a, on a jet ski or no, no, no swimming, no, swimming or a canoe. It was a swimming or a canoe. We're gonna have to get it up, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. but I'd be a great white in a canoe. I think that were it. <laughs> <laughs> like what a fucking moronic thing to say <laughs> and believe it. I can just imagine Brainy winding would he believe him up. It? Right. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah. But I can also imagine Brainy winding him up. Yeah. Saying Stoking like, the fire. Yeah. I tell you what, I've seen great. I've seen great. I've seen. I've seen Jaws twice, right? And I reckon. I could do him in a canoe. I reckon you could do him in your canoe, you know. Yeah, I could. I think I could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on and the story with Trapattoni flying yeah. in the lift. Oh, my word. I mean, do you know, like, Trapattoni coming over from the Italy and, uh, and how they are over there and the culture and everything. Of all the international squads to go into, the Irish one, it must have just, it must have just thought, what the fuck See, are he's these a guys? Eye opener. He's, yeah. an, he, he's a legend in Italy. Oh, I. Is he like was he's a legend in world football? But to take the 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 island job, and then arrive on the first because we've heard it, it, it it's a boot up, and then you've got to match at end of it. I mean, obviously there's a certain, an element of professionalism, but every Irish player that we've had has said we're on the beers, and then we might we might settle down a bit now before the game. A couple of days before the game, we'll yeah. settle down, but before that, we're on the pace. Yeah, I'd love to sit down with Trapattoni as well and ask him about receiving a picture message of Keith Tracy with his legs above his head balloon knot and cock and balls <laughs> in the same picture <laughs> balloon knot imagine <laughs> I can't imagine he saved that to his camera roll can you but like, what, imagine him just sat there with his wife like glass of red and it's just got this photo of one of his players he'll have been yeah. in a Michelin star restaurant like you said with a Shiraz on table <laughs> beep beep <laughs> Beep, beep. But that just about oh. to go into his scallop. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> Antoinette, well, what did he say? <laughs> Antoinette? <laughs> oh, it's Keith. <laughs> is, is, this, is this Keith? This, this is this Keith? This is, this, is one of my, uh, this is one of my players. This is one of my fucking players. This is what I'm dealing with. Yeah. Do like that spinning form get hit different aspects? Like, is this Keith? Oh, there's only, there's only one aspect you can see. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's our butchers. Jay used to, do you know what Jay bought about? This is how insane he was at the time. We had a full blown argument with Brini in the physio room in front of all the team. Jay said that he could canoe faster than a great white shark. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was adamant. He was adamant that he could canoe faster than a great white shark. That is one of the best statements I've ever heard on this podcast. <laughs> I bet the trips with, with Ireland are unbelievable. You know, you, you think obviously playing for England would be good, but you can't imagine the, the same with the England nah, lads they, as they, the they, Irish. Like, the same they needle. Be, they'd, be, they'd be in the room playing Uno while we're like in the pub playing fucking who can down as many Jaegers. Be a pong. I was trapped um, Legend. Well, what a guy. He was the coolest guy in the room always. He, what, he was just. Right. We went to Italy one time. We were playing um, in Bari against Italy, obviously, in, in a qualifier. And um, we're walking down the street before a game. And I'm not lying. Like I've seen, like I said, I'm not lying about Lomas. I'm telling you about this. 
there's fucking old women and men in the streets of Barry getting on their hands and knees and fucking hailing him. <laughs> Go. Hail they, call him like, they call him Mister, yeah, Mister, Mister, Mister. They're all going, Mister, Mister, Mister. Like throwing flowers and shit at him. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, what what is this? What, what's going on? And he's just like they love him in Italy. Like he's like a god. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. Were you there on the trip? Who was it who he confiscated the guitar off? I am so I'm front and center here. Like Andy Reid's banging the guitar out. We're in we've just beaten um Georgia 2 0 in but we had to play them in Germany because there was a war in Georgia at the time. So we're playing them in Germany and we're in the hotel and we're fucking back, like we've just beaten them. All the boys, points are going down, bang, bang, bang. Andy Reid's on the guitar, unreal. Trapatoni walks into the bar. He's like, he's like, we're all like, oh fuck. But he's like, he's loving it. He's like, starts like swaying. I'm like, <laughs> go on, trap. Like, go on. Like, go on, trap. Yeah. And, I'm like, and, he'd be like, and he's like, yeah. And then like, he's sort of like monitoring everyone's drinks level. And so everyone, when everyone's drink level got near the bottom, he just went like this to Andy Reid. Finished. And we were like, what? Like, we're just getting going. You know, you know what it's like when you're getting going. You're like, nah, 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 we're not finished. And he's like, nah, you're finished. So anyway, all the lads. And Andy got a bit like, he got a bit annoyed about it. Like, but anyway, <laughs> the boys ushered him out. So we're walking down. It was like, it was me, Andy Reid, Shay Given. Stephen Reid and I think Robbie Keane I'm not sure maybe Kev Kilban definitely Robbie Keane maybe yeah so the, the, the more experienced lads yeah and me and I'm in the lift with them going upstairs <laughs> yeah so we <laughs> we're in the lift and Steve, like someone's holding the lift for like Shay or someone to come down I don't know what it is. And Travis Tony's down there. And Stephen Reed is like, oh, he's, he's just he's just going like this, Andy Reed. I can't believe Trap spoke to you like that. <laughs> and like one of the other lads is like, shut the fuck up, Reedy. And Andy Reed is like, you see his little his brain is going. And I'm like, ooh. And then uh, Reedy's like, he's just mugged you right off, Reedy. <laughs> Because he was on there, and I'm like, oh, and then Andy Reid's just like, Poof. he's just stormed out of the lift. I'm like, oh god. So I'm like, all the everyone's followed. Like Andy Reid's run out of it, and then I'm, I'm holding the lift. So Andy Reid's stormed down the corridor, and him and Trap are going at it like, da, 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 da. and I'm like, oh my. So anyway, I think Shay Gibbons like bear hugged Reedy, brought him into the lift, and like I'm there, and he's like, Joey, press the button, press the button. So I'm like. I'm banging number two, banging it like that. <laughs> Fucking close, close. <laughs> Trapatoni, 72 year old man has come steaming around the corner and he burst into the lift. And I'm like, I'm like, trap, stay there. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> like, just like, and, like, and then like Marco Tardelli, his assistant, is there pulling trap back. I'm like, oh, anyway, got the doors closed upstairs. And Stephen, like we're on the Stephen Reed goes, fucking hell, Reedy, what made you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's looking at Reedy going, oh my God. And I'm like, I'm only 21 at the time, or 22. Like, so then like, and then like, I'll give you like, this is a fucking So is Chapter 20 actually wanting to, to short it, a scrap to short it out? Like it looked like he was trying to scrap him. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. It was just he just wanted he, he just wanted it. And like Trap didn't like back away. <laughs> so the next day in training, we had training and all the boys that didn't play at the train. Reedy had to train me, blah, blah, blah. It was like 15, 12 of us, say, yeah. So we've had a meeting afterwards with Liam Brady, who was like a bit of the translator and all that. And we're all in a circle and, you know, Trap's giving it like about this and about this and about professionalism and blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> no, like Andy Reid's turning around and go, if he fucking talks to me like that again, I'm going to knock him out. 
And and Stephen Reed's like, really? He's 70, mate. <laughs> I really, I like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. And we're all like, we're all like in this little semicircle, uh, and I'm like, I wonder if Brady's translating that to. Tra- <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Anyway, uh, didn't, didn't see Reedy again on another trip. <laughs> he was done, but what a Reedy, what a guy he. No, no, no. He used to look after the young guys brilliantly. He was a legend. It'd been good being them squads, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think. Uh, Especially with guitar out. I don't mm. think there's many. I don't think there's many in the Irish squad who were thinking, I'm not going to play, but I'm just going to throw it in. I'm not going to go. Yeah. I think they're thinking, fuck, I can I'm go have a bit of it. crack here. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll rate International enjoy break it. next week. Oh, get in. Yeah. Away from the missus and kids and that for a, a bit. Little Brett, and you know you're gonna have a couple of nights out at least. Like we are obviously, if you if you're playing for, I don't know, fucking somebody good, Iceland or something, and you think, oh, I'm not gonna play. Do I really want to be travelling to Iceland and then going to fucking I don't know Russia, something like that, and not yeah. playing? But it's you just know, you're going a, a bit of an ease up. But it's just a given that you you finish the game on a Saturday for your club, you fly to Dublin, bags in the room. You're straight out. Yeah. And you're out all day Sunday Quick as well. Quick change, Quick change, out. out. Some of the lads you've not seen since last international. Yeah. Bit. But you know a game. Yeah. Game for it. Yeah. Guinness is up bar with, with um, Shamrock. Shamrock on top. And you know that no one's going to get out either about it. Because mm. somehow they just managed to keep it all so close knit and oh, yeah. it don't get out in the press and all that. So if you could play for any other country other than England, Ireland? Yeah, just I, think, I, I think I'd rather play for Ireland than England, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to Saturday night and all day Sunday in fucking London. The thing is, I know it was like that uh, when Michael O'Neill was manager of Northern Ireland. They did well in the, was it the Euros the, they did all right in? The yeah. recent one or the one before. But there was after a game, they'd be in the hotel bar. Oh, manager oh, manager oh, the with, with the like players. Bastards, how you look at that? What are they doing over there? Oh. But, what, but what's it going to hurt? You've just played a game. Mm. But it's one of them, because they were doing well, you get away with it. I suppose it's expectation as well, isn't it? Do you know, like, if you're a, if you're a Spain, if you're an England, if you're a... Nobody expects Ireland to, to win it, do they? Or even get to the final. You know, we, we, all the fans will hope for them to do it, but nobody yeah. expects them to. Yeah. So expectations are lower, so you can get a bit more leeway. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I get that. Probably we're good though, though, some of the Patreons. Yeah, like, nice nice the, to the, catch up, yeah. Eh? yeah. Some of the, like we said, the, the some of the best bits. Not not, but the the full episodes. The, there's some there's some other good stuff. Mm. There, isn't there? So, yeah. It's not an advert. It's not an advert. But if you do want to join advert. the Patreon, it's, well, a, it's, it's, been, it's, only, it's, it's only a couple nice. pound a month, isn't it? It's been nice to just have a chat with, amongst yourselves. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I didn't think I'd say that because I, I was dreading this fucker, but it was nice. Uh, strong that bunk, by the way. Is it? Oh, half yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> you look it. You look it. Get some fucking taking, gas and air over it. <laughs> taking that gas and air mask off, you don't need it. But we just we just need to finish on a uh, uh, what I don't know what the word is uh, a found, shout out. I found Tino's email. Put it that way. So <laughs> so this this is the, the original email. Might, might in, you found in it. Spanish. This is well. What? Sorry, John. What I did was I wrote it out in English. Yeah, and copied and pasted. Copied and pasted it under the next, another paragraph, but I finished the English one with gracias. <laughs> <laughs> nice Imagine touch. Nice that. touch. <laughs> <laughs> gracias. Gracias. Under the, under the cosh. <laughs> so, so this is, this is a, a, a pledge to Fastino Asprilla. Shall I read in Spanish? Si, 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 si. Hola, Fastino. Hola. Espamerias que estes bien. Somos un podcast de fútbol <laughs> en el Reino Unido y hemos tenido todos vías amigos en el programa. <laughs> programa. programa. Lee Clark, why John Beresford? There's going to be the Spanish speakers amongst the audience. <laughs> Hablaron muy bien de ti. 
Comen zamamos a hace un show on vivo de YouTube. El mea coles por la noche y tu vemeros a Robbie Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you said it as a joke, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you stuck him in. You stuck, stuck Robbie him in. in. <laughs> I like this as well. Come like on, this. invitado. La semana pasada. Lo grabamos a través de la Zoom. Oh, we'll do it on Zoom. Yeah, we've had Robbie, Robbie Williams on Zoom. Yeah, right? yeah. That's what I was yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Nos encantaría tenerte. Publiqué un les al espisado de Robbie Williams. Again? Again? Got him again, <laughs> again? Got him again with Robbie? Got him again with Robbie. Vien despierta <laughs> de one hour y 30 minutos. So basically... <laughs> We had Robbie Williams on chatting shit for an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason why you can't, Fastino. Robbie Williams chatting shit, by the way, because he listens. Gracias under the cosh. It's the last to read it in English. I wonder why he didn't reply. I'll read it in English. I don't think, he, I don't think the signal was best. How fast do you know? We hope you are well. We're a football podcast in the UK and have had two of your old friends on the show, Lee Clark and John Beresford. They spoke very highly of you. We have started doing a live YouTube show on a Wednesday night and 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 had Robbie Williams on as a guest last week. Not the greatest. Bad grammar. Yeah, not the greatest English. That's why I didn't come on. Yeah. Uh, we record it via Zoom and stream onto YouTube. We would love to have you on. I'll post a link to Robbie Williams' episode. Did you post a link? Nah. Did you post a link? I don't think I did. Are you cringing? He That's why you told him you put a link and you're not done it. He comes on after one hour, 30 minutes. Gracias. Under I the gosh. I might send it then. Oh, yeah. you, I might you, not. You've not even put a time code. He's got to yeah. scratch. You've got to scratch through for an hour and a half. There's a YouTube link at bottom. Well, yeah, I did send it then. Oh, so he's put <laughs> it on and he's seen us dickheads dressed up as Jerry Alliwell and him in dresses and he's Frank. gone, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah I'll tell you what, I'm... I'm all the other side of the world, right? I'll, and I'll speak to these fucking three numpties. But Tino, up. Tino, if you are out there and you are listening, I mean, we'd still love to have you on, mm, wouldn't we? Yeah. See. We could so do a Zoom with him, couldn't could, we? Yeah. I yeah. think we could go to Colombia. Should I resend it? We could, yeah. Now. Copy, copy and paste again. <laughs> Gracias, Tino. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. No, but on a serious note, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed yeah. a little yeah. catch-up. Yeah. And uh, thanks for everybody for watching once again. Yeah, and we'll... Uh, well, we, need, we need to get ready for the fucking live show we'll now. We'll back we? with a guest yeah, next week. Best. And uh, yeah, we best crack on because we've got another a live show to kick on with. And tomorrow. Uh, to me. <laughs> <laughs>